Hey guys, we've got a bit of a quick uh, workshop vid for the 390 owners today. I thought I might as well throw these two inch pod lights on the KDM. I did offer to put the big three inch aux beam lights on there initially, but Nat was sort of a bit worried about the amount of time she drops the bike. Uh, she thought they'd just get ruined, so uh, she didn't really want them. Um, I thought, I've got these laying around, they might as well be on the 390. So yeah, we'll see how we go putting them on there. I've got a relay here ready to go, a couple of douche plugs, <laughs> my favourite. Uh, I'm thinking that this should be fairly straightforward uh, compared to the T7. Obviously the T7, if you guys saw that video, uh, the wiring was all back to front with the relay. This one should be uh, pretty basic. Obviously, as you can see here, I've got the bike pulled apart already. And one of these wires to the headlight does actually have a 12 volt positive power source when the high beam switch is on. So it should be super straightforward. I'm not gonna go into how to pull this apart. I followed a really good video on the, 7, the KDM 790 Adventure. Um, there'll be a link up here in the corner if you wanna see that. Honestly, um, it's exactly the same to the letter pretty much. The only thing I've noticed that was different with the 390 is the fasteners aren't Torx fasteners, they're just Allen key stuff and be careful with them because I have stripped a couple of the, the Allen key heads, the cheap crap fasteners obviously. And also when it comes to the wiring, the guy in the video said that there was a blue wire into the headlight plug for the high beam. This one doesn't have a blue one but uh, with my trusty multimeter here I have figured out that it is the red and black wire is the high beam one that you want to tap into. See, so yeah, I want to do exactly the same thing with this bike as what I did with mine, is just have the auxiliary lights on the high beam switch. So we're just boosting that high beam power a bit. Um, we don't want a separate switch for the auxiliary lights. Just keep it simple. Um, have them come on with the high beams and boom. Just easy and quick to dip your lights if you've got oncoming traffic or whatever. Uh, but you know, it's up to you. If you want to add a switch to your auxiliary lights, you can do that as well. So you can see there the red and black wire. And once you pull out all the wiring on the uh, 390, you'll find two sets of auxiliary plugs. One of these is powered constantly, so even with the key off, that's that one there. You want to check it out with a multimeter, figure out which one's which. Um, you may want to use that one that's always powered. Um, and this one here, I've put a bit of tape around so I know which one it is. That one is only powered with the key on, so it's uh, accessory power, that one. So we'll be wiring our auxiliary lights to that one. Be triggered with the high beam power here with a relay. And uh, yeah, hopefully it all goes nice and smoothly. I just got to figure out somewhere here to mount the, the lights themselves. I'm thinking I'll use this Thing here because Nat's removed her little plastic winglets. They kept breaking, the mounts kept breaking and stuff, so she just decided to get rid of them. So yeah, we should be able to figure something out. Uh, if that doesn't work, we'll just end up getting some uh, bar mounts for the crash bars here. Anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, put a flyback diode onto the relay because I don't know if it's necessary with this bike, but um, I've got some diodes left over from the last job, so uh, it's no hassle to put one on. So yeah, we'll do that first. So same as last time guys, these are the diodes I'm using. They're at 1N4007, 1000 volt, 1 amp silicon diode. I'm going to be soldering this in between pins 86 and 85. Now I'll have the white stripe, which is the cathode end I believe. Uh, towards 86. Okay, so we have now wired up the relay. Guys, I'm not an expert on electrical shit, so that makes it hard for me to try and explain what I've done. Hopefully most of you guys know how to wire up a relay anyway. Um, I've tried to color coordinate the wires a bit to help sort of it, um, keep it clear, 
But um, obviously here we have tapped into the high beam trigger switch, uh, trigger wire here. So that was the red and black wire in the harness. We've tapped in a yellow wire, so that's, that's our trigger wire. And that one goes into number 86 on the relay. You've got your positive and negative uh, auxiliary power here. The, uh, the positive goes to number 30, that's your power in. That's the red wire there. The negative on that one goes to both number 85 and also to your lights. So this is, this is the uh, positive and negative, both in, in this casing here. So that's going to go to the lights. You can see those there. The positive to the lights goes obviously onto number 87. This is my diagram that I used anyway. Hopefully you can make sense of that. Just uh, pause on that screen if you want to use that diagram. Uh, so this wire, or these pair of positive and negatives, both go to here. I've just got one of the auxiliary lights modularly wired in to the relay at the minute. So uh, what should happen now is when I turn the key on on the bike, Okay, the key's on. Uh, I flick the high beam. So with the KDM, this KDM, you don't need the engine running to make the high beams work. So flick the high beam on, and there you go. So that high beam trigger wire is activating the relay, which is then giving power to the auxiliary light. So that's, that's working all good now. That's all legit. Basically, just need to route the wire out and down through the bottom of the of that uh, headlight shroud sort of thing, and figure out where I'm going to mount the lights themselves. Pretty much all of this is good to go. Um, I'll put a bit of tape around a few of these connections just to stop any possible short outs. Um, it should all be fused anyway. I'm pretty sure these auxiliary plugs would be fused. Um, I'm just going to tuck the relay up in there somewhere. And uh, we'll put it all back together and, um, yeah, and then we'll uh, get on to mounting the lights themselves. Cool. So basically we're just following the uh, instructions of how to pull it apart, but in reverse. So just putting everything back together now. Check that video that I linked in the description guys, it's for the 790 but it is very much the same for the 390. As always guys, I, you know, I, re I recommend that you definitely thread lock uh, all these bolts as you put them back in. This is of course the mount plate for the SRC headlight guard. Alright, so once you've got all this shit back together and you know it's a bit of a mission, it's a pretty fiddly fucking job I'll tell you. Um, if you take the time and do everything in the right order so you don't have to go back and do it two or three times. Uh, that definitely streamlines the process, but uh, yeah, definitely watch the instructions in that video and do it right the first time, trust me. Uh, but anyway, when you're done, you should just have your positive and negative wires for your lights coming out. Um, they, the best place to have them coming out is just above this bolt here. So they come, you know, those feed down the neck of the, uh, the tower here and, and come out there where the rest of the wiring harness comes out uh, and then basically you just want to obviously route it uh, to wherever your lights are going to be. Um, I'm going to put those douche plugs on so I can easily disconnect them. Yeah you just want to make sure that uh, you know your, your forks aren't going to interfere with the wires uh, when you route them. Um, yeah so I've still got to figure out where I'm going to put the bloody lights. So uh, yeah we'll have a look at that now.
guys probably haven't seen this level of professional fabrication before. It's pretty amazing, I know, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking we'll just use the bracket, little brackets here for the winglets that Nat removed. Um, made up a little spacer there, so the light should hang down like so. Uh, it's not perfect, obviously, you know, a bit of the beam's going to be blocked by the uh, actual headlight there, but I think enough of it will shine out to the side to make them still pretty useful, especially, you know, there'll be one on the other side, so they should light up pretty well. And, uh, yeah, so I just need to make up another spacer there. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, then we'll get on to wiring them up. And uh, especially, you know, being mounted in there, there's very little chance that she's going to be able to <laughs> um, smash them off or damage them. And uh, yeah, they're well out of the way of the forks, so all good. Okey-dokey, you've got everything, like all the uh, Deutsch plugs connected. Uh, we've got the double double Deutsch plug coming from the bike, so you can connect, hopefully, one light. And one light on this side. And uh, this will be the final test before I go ahead and just, uh, you know, zip tie all the wires up nice and out of the way. Oh shit, they both work, how about that? But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get all this wiring finalised and tied up and looking all nice and sweet and then uh, might take it out for a ride when it gets dark and see how they go alrighty let's do this thing Nat's gonna ride it because obviously she knows better what the lights were like before and how much better they're gonna be <laughs> <laughs> she's never doubled anyone before I don't think so I'm probably gonna die alrighty hey, ping it yep <laughs> Your light beams are better than mine. <laughs> Pointing up in the fucking trees. I guess they sort of help light up out the side a bit. Yeah. You see animals coming. <laughs> yeah, I think they're a bit blocked by the crash bars and stuff, but I mean, whatever. They help a bit. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think they're mounted really good, optimally, but I mean they're better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah. Give you a little bit more peripheral vision. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know how to rev match yet? <laughs> First time on a motorbike. <laughs> so it'll help a little bit. I'm surprised how good the headlight on that 
Yeah. 390 is actually, it's a lot better than the T7. Yeah, that would good. Yeah, if we had it mounted out, out here a little bit, sort of, mm. they'd um, have less shit blocking them, but you know, they're hopefully nat proof in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> challenge accepted. Yep. <laughs> Just to wrap this video up, guys, I did actually end up making, well, mounting the lights a little bit differently uh, just on a bit of three mil alloy plate here so they've moved out by an inch and a half or so and they're not as low down now so they've actually got a much better sort of clear projection now so they should work heaps better like that and they're still tucked up out the way so it's solid There you go guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get back to painting. <laughs> See you on the next vid, cheers. Hey guys, quick video today. Uh, it's just gonna be a bit of a, I've got, uh,